Hey guys, Joe with Deranged. From the time the rumors began about the new Razer from Polaris, people have been wondering how or if it would compare to the Can-Am X3. Then Can-Am dropped a bomb by announcing the 2020 X3 RR models with nearly 200 horsepower. After that announcement, the noise got even louder. Then on July 28th, Polaris announced the Razer XP Pro model. In this video, we're going to compare Polaris' new top-end 64-inch machine, the Razer XP Pro Ultimate, with the top-end 64-inch machine from Can-Am, the X3 XDS Turbo RR. Right, let's get this out of the way first. These model names are getting a little bit crazy. For this video, rather than referring to the Can-Am as the X3 XDS Turbo RR and the Polaris as the Razer XP Pro Ultimate, I'm just going to refer to them as the X3 RR and the XP Pro. With that said, let's jump into it. This video is not meant to be an opinion video. We can talk about and debate which machine is the better and why in the comments down below. I know I'm certainly interested in your opinion, and I'm sure the rest of the guys are as well. Instead, in this video, we'll compare the X3RR and the XP Pro in three different categories. Number one, the engine and drivetrain specs. Number two, the suspension. And number three, the interior features. Let's start by comparing the engine and drivetrain. The obvious spec to lead with here is horsepower. The new XP Pro comes with a 925cc ProStar twin-cylinder turbo engine delivering 181 horsepower, while the X3RR has a 900cc Rotax triple-cylinder engine, also turboed, and delivers a class-leading 195 horsepower. While the Can-Am has an obvious lead when it comes to horsepower, whether or not that matters is entirely up to you. Moving on to the transmission, both the X3RR and the XP Pro are still running a CVT transmission, with both claiming to have made recent improvements to handle the increased power in the later models. As far as drivetrain goes, the XP Pro comes with what Polaris calls the isolated extreme performance true on-demand all-wheel drive, two-wheel drive system. It's a mouthful. They claim to have strengthened just about everything with the drivetrain from the transmission to the hubs and everything in between. The X3RR comes with Can-Am's SmartLock True 4-Mode Traction System, giving you two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive with diff lock, four-wheel drive trail active, and four-wheel drive trail modes. While many in the industry expected Polaris's latest model to go right after the horsepower numbers Can-Am is putting out, it seems like they're searching for that sweet spot in between high power and drivability to me. With that said, it's clear that Can-Am is the market leader with horsepower and likely will be for some time. Now let's move on to suspension and we'll start with the X3RR. It features double A arm suspension in the front with 20 inches of travel and Fox Podium 2.5 RC2 piggyback shocks that have compression and rebound adjustment. In the rear, it has four link torsion trailing arm suspension and 20 inches of travel as well. The rear also has Fox Podium 2.5 piggyback shocks with rebound adjustment and bottom out control. The ground clearance for the stock X3 RR is at 14 inches. The XP Pro features Polaris's Dynamics 2.0 active suspension system. This system includes Fox Podium 2.5 internal bypass shocks with live valve electronically controlled dampening. This system has the ability to tune the shocks on the fly based on the type of driving you're doing. As an example, in tight cornering, it will stiffen the outer shocks and soften the inside ones to help you stay planted in the corners. The front suspension is a dual A-arm system with 20 inches of usable travel. While out back, it features a trailing arm suspension system with 22 inches of usable travel. The XP Pro sits at 14 inches of ground clearance. While both machines have top-of-the-line suspension systems, the Dynamics Live Valve system on the Polaris offers benefits not found in any other non-Polaris side-by-side, for now. 
Lastly, let's talk about interior features. Having watched the rollout of the XP Pro, it was obvious that Polaris was proud of what they had done with the interior of the new model. I'm sure they spent years developing what they landed on and are confident it will change the game for side-by-sides. Here are a few of the features it seemed they were most proud of. First, the seats. They moved away from the standard seat it seems like they've had in the Razor since day one, and they now have a bolstered bucket seat with four-way adjustability. They also added retractable six-point, six-click harnesses. Second, instrumentation. In short, it's advanced and they have plenty of it. The gauge cluster is made up of dual sweeping analog dials on the right and left sides with a four inch LCD writer information screen in the middle. The XP Pro Ultimate also comes with the Polaris Ride Command system, a seven inch touchscreen display and infotainment system with GPS and a Rockford Fosgate speaker setup pre-installed. As for the X3RR, there's less to talk about as far as standard features go in the interior. With that said, their Ergo Lock cockpit has a reputation for being comfortable and their stock seats do as well. As for instrumentation, it features a 7.6 inch wide digital display with a new keypad allowing for easier interaction with the driver information system. The value of interior features or creature comforts will vary widely from person to person. For some, having a nice stereo or GPS won't make a difference. For others, it may be the deciding factor in them choosing which machine to go with. Both Polaris and Can-Am continue to innovate. There's a reason they're leaders in the UTV game. The question is, with the prices of these machines rising as fast as they are, is the value these innovations bringing keeping up with the price? Only time and the number of machines they sell will tell. Hey, before you go, do us a favor and drop a like, then hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We would definitely appreciate the support. For those who already have, thanks a bunch, we appreciate it. With that said, that's it for this video. Ride safe, pack out what you pack in, and we'll catch you on the next one.